Welcome back, Wildlings. Colin Stucker here, the Wild CEO. And today's video is all about MCT. MCT oil. You've seen a lot of products on the market. You've probably seen a lot of hype around it. It is really a great product. It is one of my favorite products. It's one of the products that got me into the whole health, nutrition, and nutraceutical space in general. And it's one of our best sellers here at Wild Foods. So I'm gonna take you through the basics of this to give you just a broad understanding of what it is, how it's made, what the benefits are, and how you can maybe add it to your lifestyle routine. So MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides are found all throughout nature, but for MCT, generally it's sourced from coconut because it's the best source. So coconut oil and a lot of the benefits that you get from coconut oil are actually from the medium chain triglycerides. Now coconut oil, has short chain and long chain, which we won't go in today because medium chain is what's been heavily researched. It's what is connected to keto and getting in ketosis and things like that. And that's what MCT oil is. It's a removal of the short chain and the long chain fatty acids, and then focusing on just the medium chain, for example, C8 and C10 being the two most popular. So there are four different types of MCTs. There's the capraic C6, caprylic C8, capric acid C10, and lauric acid C12. A lot of people like to define C8 and C10 is the true medium chain, whereas C6 is a little bit on the lower end and C12 is a little bit on the higher end. I think for most people, you don't really need to get into that. Most MCT oils are gonna be a blend of C8 and C10, and sometimes you have C12 in there. And C12 is really good for external use. So if you're going for an external application, I would recommend getting the MCT oil with C12, the lauric acid. So MCT can come in many forms. Oil is the most popular, but there's also a lot of MCT oil powders that are hitting the market. You find in coffee creamer products where you add MCT oil powder to help with the mixability a little bit and get some of those medium chain triglycerides to give you that ketone producing boost that MCT is so well known for. If you're looking for an MCT oil just for supplement purposes to add to smoothies, shakes, and or maybe to do a fasting routine, then you wanna aim for a C8, C10 blend. You could do like a 50-50 mix or some are sometimes a 55 to 45 or a 60 to 40. It really depends on the manufacturer. Ours is the C8, C10 blend, which I like a lot. It's nice middle of the road MCT and I use that most of the time in our kitchen. Like I said, if you're aiming for skincare purposes or hair care or anything external, you want to get a blend that has C12 and has a lauric acid. That has a lot of the anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties that also help with skin health. So definitely get a C12 if you're looking for an external application of MCT oil. And finally, don't forget the importance of coconut oil. Having a big bottle of unrefined coconut oil is a workhorse in the kitchen and should be a necessary part of the healthy human diet. I'm very pro coconut oil. Coconut oil is generally solid at room temperature. And if you add it to something that is cold, for example, a cold beverage, you might get clumps. This is where MCT oil comes in to shine. Because of the removal of the long chain fatty acids, MCT oil doesn't solidify the way coconut oil does. And this makes it really good for smoothies and shanks and beverages, especially if you're gonna ice them down. Because if you ice something that has coconut oil in it, it's very likely that eventually you will get those small globs of coconut oil. Another benefit is MCT oil is odorless and flavorless, or at least it should be. Whereas coconut oil, you're gonna get some of that coconut flavor in there. So if you want a flavorless, odorless oil to use for low heat cooking applications, smoothies and shakes, maybe putting some in your coffee, or if you wanna take a swig for an easy to consume, quick dose of energy, then MCT oil is your best option. Now, when it comes to processing, you want the highest quality MCT oil you can find, ideally organic. There's a lot of things that can go on in the processing method. You want a low heat, cold process method. And generally, most oils on the market are gonna use a fractioning process. But of course, we don't know what most companies do. And very few of us know what it, companies do at all, actually. And so it comes down to the importance of trusting the brand with the products you buy. Ideally, you're gonna look for a hexane-free, meaning they don't use chemicals to separate the oils, and it will be a fractionated process, and ideally a cold process, meaning they don't use high levels of heat. Now, there are some flavored MCT oil products I don't really recommend them. I mean, like, why do you need them? It's already odorless and flavorless. If you want to spice something up or flavor something, then just use some natural real food ingredients and make your own beverage or recipe or whatever. One of the benefits of MCT oil is the fact that it is odorless and flavorless. Here's a quote. Medium chain triglycerides short length helps make them more easily absorbed since they do not require bile or pancreatic enzymes for absorption. There is a difference in the quality of MCT oils, but it's hard for consumers to tell because brands are not required to list out each MCT, which is again, you want to ask the manufacturer or look for, is it C8, C10, C12, C6, what is in there? And you want to ideally aim for that C8 to C10 range and sometimes a C12 range. When selecting MCT oil, choose a brand that lists out the MCTs contained. Some common FAQ about MCT. Is MCT oil good for ketosis? 
Yes, MCTs can quickly pass a blood-brain barrier and be used for energy, simulating the effects of ketone production. And also some say it helps as a precursor to producing ketones because it kind of tells your body, oh, well, we're using this fuel, so let's produce some ketones as well. There is some research that suggests that using MCT oil to maintain ketosis and stay in it, like I just said, might have some benefit for those of you that are on a very strict ketogenic diet. Whether you're on a ketogenic diet or not, it doesn't matter. Utilizing fat burning, getting your body into the fat burning mode is going to have benefit either way. And it's what most of us are after. How do I add MCT oil to my diet? Have it with coffee and other warm drinks. Add it to your smoothies, keto or not. Add it to your pre-workout and post-workout shakes. Make a quick dressing. You can make keto chocolate sauce. And actually, there's a ton of recipes that you can use MCT oil to make as well. So go on Google and just type in MCT oil recipes and you'll find lots and lots of ways to use this amazing superfood. So that's it for MCT oil. I hope you have some ideas on how you might want to add it to your routine and some of the benefits. And if you have any questions or comments, you can drop them below or send us an email, info at wildfoods.co. Thanks for watching.